Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Capricorns and this is just a little weekend check-in for you. I'll be using my Everyday Witches Tarot and to clarify, I'll be using the classic tarot. Oops. So, I wanted to let you guys know that I was gonna start back creating my paints, my, my paintings again. I'm gonna start back pouring on Monday. I will start. <clears throat> Sometimes when I I pour, I get lost. But you're still gonna get your videos. I may, may go live on, at different times. I, I, I won't have no set time. And I, you know, I still don't have a set time. But I'll go live whenever I'm pouring and if you ask a question, I'll, I'll try and answer it for you. So, Capricorn, let's see what messages we have for you. So Capricorn, this message is for you. The Knight of Swords. You're going after something, could be kind of passionately. And maybe there's gonna be a little shift in your environment here. The King of Swords. You're going after something. Are you going to, you're about to go and communicate something like mm, to somebody? Think about it first, okay? You can draw your boundaries and do all that, but just think about how you're going to communicate. Well, there might be a shift in your environment here. Um, I got the King of Swords. So this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Manifesting. Doing some reflection. The Eight of Pentacles, not too long ago, you were working passionately in something. The Ace of Wands, you've been inspired to do something creative. Or that could be fertility too. Something inspired you. The Two of Pentacles, you may have a lot of priorities, a lot of things to do, a lot of, oh gosh, I got to get this done. I got to get the other done. I got, and what that does is just cause an imbalance, right? So what you're going to do is write them down if that's the case, and you're going to prioritize and knock them out. Or this could be you feeling a little off balance financially. You have the six of pentacles here. You got balance, baby. Your balance is going to come back. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving. Okay? Remember, whatever you give, do it with your heart. All right? Or don't do it at all. The Nine of Swords. You've got a little anxiety going on. What's going on? you got the Chariot. you got a choice and something. Like this choice, you got to make a choice and it's coming pretty fast. you got to either this way or you go that way. Totally up to you which way you choose. The two of swords, you have a decision to make. And this decision is pretty complex. You got to do some thinking. All right. So let's see.
On top of the King of Swords, you got the moon. You got the Two of Pentacles. And you got the Six of Cups. Okay, so I don't know if you've been a little harsh. But the moon is about... You could be imagining things that are not there. You know, don't let your imagination get you in trouble. All right. The two of pentacles is about balance, finding balance in order to make a success of your life, to build your life. Okay. To build your success. And the six of cups says, reach out to others with love and compassion. So maybe you've been a little stressed out. You don't want to be that way, you know. So Breathe. You'll be okay. You got the moon. You got the two pentacles. You got the six cups. Or this could be something from the past. Something from the past that's making you feel a little off balance. And you're not seeing things clearly. I don't know. The ace of pentacles. On top of the ace of pentacles, we got the two of wands. We got the nine of pentacles. And we got the two of cups. Well, you need to believe in your personal power. Believe in it with love. Believe in it with your heart. All right? Believe in you. You planning on making progress about something. I got the two wands. It has something to do with money because you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. And you got a good partnership going on here. Whatever, whoever it's with. I got the two cups. Unified love. Open your heart and receive the love from others. You got the two of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the two of cups. Then you got the eight of pentacles in the past. You were working passionately on something. Well, you completed it, whatever it was, and it brought in some money. You found the balance that you needed, and it brought in some money not too long ago. So you need to do whatever it was that you did in the past and find your balance. You meditated? I don't know. I got the Hermit here. I got the Hermit. I got the Temperance card. And I got the Ten of Pentacles. You also came into some money not too long ago. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Inspiration. Creative um, energy. You got the Nine of Wands. You have the Queen of Pentacles, which would be you. And there's the Hierophant. Now, this could be some kind of contract. This could either be marriage, but what oh, marriage or work, whatever it is, it's it's binding, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, which would be you, you usually know how to handle the money. And you found yourself, you got some courage here. You got a lot of courage. Believe in yourself and have the courage to continue. Always do that, all right? You are resilient. You got the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Or the Hierophant could be telling you, you better stay on the straight and narrow. You got the Two of Pentacles here again. So you're feeling a little off balance. But remember, you're not going to quit. All right? You got the Four of Cups, the Death card, and the Emperor. So the Four of Cups is about being deep in thought and not even seeing the offers that are around you. Um, you're like kind of self-absorbed right now, maybe. Um, there is a change coming. There is an ending of a cycle and the beginning of something new for you. And then it might have to do with the emperor. The emperor is, um, it's like a father figure in your, in your environment. Um, there are an Aries. The, uh, the emperor is an Aries. Um, they're very stable. They're very stable energy. You could talk to them about anything. But there's some kind of transformation or, or ending here and the beginning of something for you. It could also be in regards to work. Own your space with confidence. Stability, structure, rules, power. So it could be you. You know, there's some kind of change, you know, it's going to be a good change. You got the four cups, you got the death card, and you got the emperor. 
then you have the six of pentacles on top of the six of pentacles you have the empress you have the eight of swords and you have the knight of wands there is abundance but you got yourself a little tied up over something you do have financial balance but you're overthinking something you got a lot of energy around you and you're inspired to action got the ace of wands there whatever you want to do you need to do it now stop being anxious and fearful and negative okay do what you need to do ask yourself should i do it take a moment and ask yourself go quiet go outside while you do it and you'll get the answer the empress the eight of eight of swords and the knight of wands so that's some impulsive passionate energy here okay but you got to do it now if you're thinking about something the nine of swords on top of the nine of swords here this is giving you anxiety whatever it is whatever you've been thinking about because you got to make a decision there's some kind of celebration there's the king of swords so i said this is an energy in your environment this is a gemini uh a gemini a libra or an aquarius and here you are again, the Eight of Pentacles, working very hard. Work-life balance is important to protect your creativity. You're very passionate about what you're doing. And there's a lot of celebration here. Celebrate your successes with, with those you care about. And I guess that's the King of Swords. <laughs> I mean, you have a choice to make, but you have you have some anxiety. Where where's the anxiety coming from? Is it financial? You feeling off balance financially? Come on, Capricorn. The three of um, you might have spent a little extra money. Just take a breath. The three of cups, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> So just relax. You got some kind of decision to make and that decision is coming pretty fast, but you're going to have the strength, you're going to be balanced and you're going to have, actually, you're going to have some choices where these where this decision is concerned. I got the seven of cups over the chariot. You're going to find your inner strength. You're going to have your inner strength. You're going to find the balance. It's there. It's there. Don't worry about the money, please. You know, don't worry about it. I, I'm not making light, you know, if you actually absolutely don't have, but still don't worry about it. But remember, anything you need in life, you have to work towards, you know. Don't give up. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. So you're going to have to make a decision. I don't know what this heartbreak is about because there's nothing here that tells me there's anything about anything going on. I got the Ten of Swords. Some kind of betrayal, some kind of loss. I have the Three of Swords. Better to know the truth than to live a lie. Heartbreak. Loss. Confusion. And then I got the Six of Swords. Be mindful what you take with you when you move away from your problems. So whatever this hair is, this might be something that... Something that's still bothering you that's in the past. Something that you haven't come to terms with. Or this is a relationship ending, the card says. This is an ending. This is an ending. And you're the one that makes the decision. The Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords. There is an ending. Let's see. Let me pull three more cards.
Capricorn. You know, sometimes your feelings, you get too deep into your head. Okay, you need to get out of your head. Take a breath. I don't know what it is that made you think things were ending or what was the decision. Maybe you had to make a decision. Maybe you thought the decision that you would make would make would bring an ending. I'm not sure. But the next three cards that I pulled was the High Priestess. I got the Seven of Pentacles and I got the Ten of Cups. All right. So this might be in your head. Where Did I have the moon? I got the moon here. I did have a moon, the moon. And the moon could be that you're not seeing things clearly. All right? So just take a step back. Take a breath. Everything is okay. Relax. All right? Talk. Communicate. <laughs> so we have the High Priestess, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. And that's happy family. All right? Everything you've planned has worked out. Life and love is good. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. Okay, and we will chat soon. Bye.